Hi, I'm Simon Boyle, chef founder of Brigade and the Beyond Food Foundation. Today I'm going to be cooking some fantastic pheasant. Brigade really focuses on British heritage cooking and there's nothing better than British game. So I'm really excited to cook this today. As we're a training restaurant, using professional equipment is really important, which is why we use Genware. For the pheasant, I'm going to use this red chopping board to avoid any cross-contamination, making sure we're using the correct and professional equipment at all times. And I've got a little boning knife. So I'm just going to slit just by the leg and just cook all the way around, making sure I've got the oyster and then just turn it around, pulling the leg apart and then taking all the meat off that's available to me. Again, just pinching the other side, doing exactly the same, pulling it around. The great thing about game is it's seasonal and like all cooking, if we can focus on the seasons, we get the best of the food when it's naturally ready. So I've just cut a little bit of the carcass away. I'm going to take the breast and take it off the carcass. The reason why I'm going to do this, I'm actually going to cook the breast slightly separately. And I also want to use every bit of this. So I want the carcass to go in into the, uh, to braise the legs. So using a chopping knife, I'm just going to chop the carcass up. That means it's going to cook quickly and I'm going to extract all the flavor out of each piece. So I can just put this onto my tray and I've got these beautiful fillets and I'm just going to take the wing bone out and just trim them up and the legs can just stay like that. So that's our beautiful pheasant. We've got our breasts, our legs and our carcass all ready to go so we're using every little bit of it. Okay, so I've just got rid of my pheasant board, washed my hands to avoid any cross-contamination. Now I can work on the vegetables. So we're going to be braising the pheasant. So I need a small mirepoix. So half an onion will do. Nicely diced. Uh, half a carrot, so I'm just going to peel that. And then uh, chop it up at the size of a mirepoix, just so we can braise. And then I've got a little bit of garlic and I'm just going to slice that up. And just the end of the uh, celery, I'm just going to top, cut that off and then use that also. So again, next to my pheasant, I can add all my vegetables because they're all going to get cooked together. A little bit of fresh thyme, some rosemary, one star anise, and that's it. So now we're going to braise the pheasant for the pie. Season with salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil, and then place our legs skin side down first. A little shake. It's nice to get a bit of colour because that's colour is flavour. So we're trying to get a little bit of colour into the, into the skin and into the meat. And also, I'm just going to seal off the pheasant breast, but I'm not going to cook it. Really important, because I'm going to add that to my pie afterwards, semi-raw, and it will cook in the pie. So I'm literally just going to get a little bit of colour on it, and that's it. I'm going to add a small amount of butter, and that's just going to help with the flavour. And I'm just going to take these out and put them onto the same tray because don't forget that they're raw still, so that's okay. And then I'm going to turn the legs over and you can see the colour I'm getting is a beautiful golden colour. I'm going to add the carcass, so it's going to become our sauce at the end of it. Turn that around and get some colour on the carcass. I can then add the vegetables and the herbs. So I'm getting this really beautiful colour and flavour coming out of everything. So it's all coming together in one flavour and when we come to pick the meat off and put it into our pie it's all going to be delicious and then we'll be left with this amazing kind of cooking liquor which we'll be able to reduce down and use as our sauce and then I can add my cider and I'm going to bring it to the boil and automatically what I'm doing is I'm cooking away the alcohol in the cider I'm leaving the apple flavour and now we're going to add a little bit of stock and we're just going to bring leave that to the boil for a minute and then I'm going to cover it with some tin foil and then we're going to put that into the oven and we want to cook that for at least an hour and 20 minutes an hour and 30 minutes but we will check it to make sure that the meat is falling off the bone so we can pick that off and put it into our pie okay now that the pheasant is braising and we can just let that happen we can now prepare the vegetables and firstly, we're going to do some magnificent braised red cabbage. So uh, I've cut, got half of a red cabbage here. I'm just going to cut it in half again. So we've got a quarter and just take out the main root and just cutting it nice and fine. 
I'm just going to peel a fresh apple. The majority of equipment the chefs use is very robust and, and sturdy and it lasts a long time. And things like using a really good grater because when you buy them, they often break and it's a waste of money. So just buying a really good one. This is a Gemware one, which is, just makes the job a little bit easier. And this dish is really, really simple because actually what you do is you build it all into the pan and then you put it in the oven and just let it cook. In goes the red cabbage and the onions, apple on the top, some raisins, a few thyme leaves, but just picked off, a cinnamon stick, I'm just gonna bury that, then red wine vinegar, seasoning. It's really important to cook with the salt because it's gonna make sure that the vegetables are really, come, the flavors are coming out themselves. And then I've got some really amazing organic cider. I'm just gonna pour that in. And then I need a really tight fitting piece of tin foil. And the reason being is because we don't want any of the amazing flavors to escape. And that's gonna go in the oven with our pheasant. Final bit of veg prep to do, just as a small garnish, the remaining half of carrot. So I'm just gonna cut it straight in half and trim it up. And then also celery, and I'm just gonna peel the celery. It's always worth peeling because the string isn't very easily digested by the body and actually it just eats so much better. Really simple, I'm just going to start with the carrot, a little bit of cider, a little bit of butter and some pepper. And I'm just gonna cook it gently, just on the top of the stove. So it just it remains, have some texture in there, a little bit of a crunch, but but it cooks into that cider and eventually the cider will disappear and give us a beautiful glaze and just at the end I'll just pop in the, uh, the celery. Okay now we're going to uh, have a look at our pheasant that's just come out of the oven. I've let it cool for about 40 minutes so hopefully I can handle it. I just put the legs onto the board. You'll notice I'm using a yellow board this time because it's for cooked meat. Everything should just fall off the bone. You can see how easy it is and just, as I'm doing it I'm just breaking the meat up. Um, the drumstick has these little tiny bones in like that, so we just want to make sure we got those off. Okay, so we've got the meat ready there for the, for the pie. Now I can just wash my hands, get rid of the board. Okay, so now we're going to build our pie. And I've just got some ready rolled pastry here, nice and simple. And I'm just going to cut it in half. So then we've got our pheasant and build a small base of leg meat. And then you'll remember they've got the, uh, the, the raw breast. Just create a little flat bed of meat like that. And then here I've got a little bit of egg yolk and it's gonna just be the glue for us around our pastry. Get the second layer and just place it over the top. And we're just making sure that there's no air in there. And then you cut it, layer of egg yolk on there. We'll put a little central point just so the steam can escape. And then we're gonna just make a little, a nice little pattern which is very reminiscent of the Gatto Petivier, using the back of a knife. So that's our pie. Ready? And again, I'm just going to bake this. Now, it doesn't need to bake for too long. We want a nice golden crust around the outside, and then we just need it long enough to make sure that pheasant's cooked inside. So it probably takes around about eight to 10 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to plate up the pheasant. I'm going to use this very simple presentation from Gemware. So a little bit of this into the middle of the plate. And this pie is really crisp, the pastry is really light now. And in the sauce, it's now reduced down. I'm just gonna put a few cooked lentils in just for a little bit of garnish. Our roasted carrots and celery, just finishing it off with a little bit of garlic sourdough. There we have it, pheasant pie from Brigade, a great British classic.